everyone, this is Sheila and good job for choosing to baby wear smart with me. So for this episode, pag-uusapan po natin kung paano natin maisiset yung ating stretchy wraps. Kung paano gamitin yung mga tips kung paano natin ilalagay yung ating baby gamit ng stretchy wrap. So stay tuned! na basically it, it it's just a long piece of stretchy fabric no yung kanyang width usually around 20 inches ayan ganyan lang yung width niya kayong length naman niya nagsuspan siya hanggang 4.5 to 5 meters ganun siya kahaba palagi nating tatandaan na kapag gumagamit tayo ng stretchy wrap dapat ma magamit natin or utilize natin yung three layers ng stretchy wrap kasi it will protect the baby sa sides at saka sa likod kailan ba natin ginagamit yung stretchy wrap yung stretchy wrap mainam gamitin from newborn hanggang kayang dalhin ng carrier so sa term po namin dito yung sinasabi ko palagi yung hakwatable <laughs> hakwat meaning carry so hangat kaya pa able na makerry pa ng carrier pwede siya by around 9 to 12 months, medyo mabigat na si baby, medyo hindi na kaya ng stretchy wrap. Pero it doesn't mean na wrong na siya. Mas nainam na lumipat tayo sa mga types of carriers na mas fit or mas appropriate for the age. Ano yung mga ways kung paano natin magamit yung ating stretchy wrap? So, pwedeng pwedeng front carry, pwedeng off-center carry, pwede rin na hip carry. So, for this episode, ipapakita ko lang po sa inyo kung paano gamitin ang stretchy wrap through front carry. Or yun yung tinatawag nilang hug hold carry. Ngayon po ay papakita ko po sa inyo yung front carry or yung hug hold carry using a stretchy wrap. Now we will start with the middle marker. Ayan. Ayan yung middle marker. Saan natin ilalapat yung middle marker or saan ba dapat yung middle marker na yan? Yung middle marker po na yan ay mainan na dito sa center most. So ngayon, iikot po natin yan dyan sa ating katawan. Andito pa rin po yung middle marker natin. Ayan. Ayan. So, nakagawa tayo ng X sa ating likod. Yung dalawang tails natin ngayon, i-cross natin yan sa loob ng pouch. Ayan. First, itong tails na to, buong tails na to, papaloob natin sa pouch. Tapos, i-cross natin yan. Ayan. Nakakross siya. Tapos, Kung may extra pa, pwedeng sa harap, pwedeng sa gilid, or pag wala na, pwede na rin naman na sa likod. Sa akin, may extra pa, so itatay ko siya. Ayan. Now we have two cross passes, and then one horizontal pass. So yung gagawin natin ngayon, bigyan natin ng room para makapasok ngayon ang ating baby. So make sure na hindi siya ganun ka loose at hindi rin siya ganun ka tight. So tingnan nyo kung may kung may room yung pinaka maximum na stretch ng ating cross passes. If kasha si baby then that's the best fit for the baby. Okay? Now. Open natin 'yan para may pagpasukan si baby. Okay. Now, we will start to place the baby on the inner cross pass. This one. Inner cross pass. So, paano? Lalagay yung paa ni baby. Yung bunch of fabric na to, ilalagay natin sa nipit or sa likod ng tuhod ni baby. Ayan. And then, 
the outer cross pass dito naman sa kabilang nipi. Ngayon, pauupuin natin si baby. Isisettle natin siya. Ayan. We started with the inner cross pass. So, yung cross pass na to, spread natin ngayon sa likod ni baby. Ayan. Reaching now from nipit to nipit. Next. Itong cross pass naman na to. From nipit to nipit. Ayan. Napakaganda na ng fit niya. Hindi siya ganun kalawlaw. Hindi rin siya ganun ka tight. Ayan. Last, kunin natin yung ating horizontal pass. Ayan. Supporting now the baby. Kunin natin yung ating horizontal pass. Ipapasok natin yung isang paa. Ipapasok din yung isang paa. And then, there. Ayan. Napaka-snug fit na siya. Ayan. To ensure na walang airway obstruction, we can do the flipping of the cross passes. So, for this one, kasi andito nakatingin si baby, pwede natin i-flip yung ganito. Yung cross pass na to. Ayan. Open yung airway ni baby. Tapos, pag si baby wala pang head and neck control, pwede natin na i-secure yung head ni baby using the the wrap. Ayan. Pag, para hindi siya mag-wobble. Or, kapag medyo malaki-laki na si baby, pwede rin na i-flip din natin yung isang cross pass. So, from the inside, you reach for it and then you spread it. Ayan. So, napaka-open ng airway para kay baby. Make sure that it is tight enough. You can see your baby at all times. The baby's head is close enough to kiss. The baby's chin is off the chest. And the baby's back is well supported. Okay. Ito naman. Yung kanyang pelvis. Pwede rin natin na ma-pelvic tuck. Ayan. Para ma-insure natin yung end position. Ayan. So, there you have it. That is how to place the baby in a baby carrier, in a stretchy wrap carrier, in a hug hold carry or front carry. Para naman natin aalisin si baby. Just the reverse. And now slide this one. Support the baby. Always support the baby, especially the baby is small. Slide the fabric right there. And then on to the next cross pass. Ayan. And then, there's the baby. Oh, diba? Ang dali-dali. Napakadali. If you like my video and you find it very useful in your baby wearing journey, please do subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you won't miss out on anything. I'll be uploading new content every Tuesdays and Fridays. So, I'll see you. Bye!